so my name is Nishank Raj Paksi. I'm the Vale Youth Mayor for the Vale of Glamorgan and I've been a part of UK Youth Parliament, Young Wales, um, the Vale of Glamorgan Youth Cabinet and Forum. The most recent project that I actually did yesterday was a consultation on youth homelessness. So that was very interesting and we're working on a way to promote that in schools and kind of deal with um, young people being able to access resources and mental health well-being. Um, I've also been in, um, in charge of the period poverty campaign in the Vale of Glamorgan, especially in regards to making sure that schools have the right resources um, to give to young women. I've also been in charge of trying to help the new curriculum being implemented. And um, I've also been in charge of quite a lot of youth consultations over the whole COVID pandemic and making sure that their voices are heard. So the Forum is actually a group of young people um, within the Vale, ages 12 to 21-ish. We'll have a pre-made agenda and we'll kind of debate and try and figure out ways to tackle problems that we have. And um, the Cabinet is made up of a small select group from the Forum, so around six people. One group that actually had a lot of contact with was Young Carers. So I went to the YMCA in Cardiff and I had a bunch of consultations with them where I talked to them about how I can help them and maybe some of the pressures that they have. So um, I kind of tried to formulate a plan on how to make um, their situation easier which is how we came to the um, careers fad that I set up later on. So we as a cabinet organised um, a youth um, work experience fair. We found out that people from more deprived areas or maybe people who didn't have such like strong network or connections to people who could give them that work experience were kind of at a disadvantage. We kind of reached out to different schools in different areas and we got um, local businesses, many different sectors from the Vale. And we kind of invited them all there. I think we had a total of like 20 different stalls. We did get really positive feedback and we did get people showing interest in the schemes and then going off and doing work experience. But I think it's been really positive. So um, to actually get elected on, um, it varies from different like councils and everything. But I got on through Youth Forum. So before you can actually go to Parliament, you have many different kind of consultations that um, Young Parliament set up. So you have like different meetings and like weekend retreats and stuff where you get to know your team and you get to like actually choose the topics that you want to debate on. If you get chosen to speak, which you're quite lucky if you do, you kind of just deliver your speech and you get to really like influence very important politics, hopefully. So um, there's this really important campaign called Make Your Mark. Um, so during the campaign, young people across the UK can vote on different topics that they feel is really important to them. So once they are chosen, we kind of speak um, about all the topics listed and kind of just give our opinions and what we feel passionately about. It, I was hoping to make a tiny bit of change, but I was also mainly hoping to kind of gain a lot of experience in communication skills and stuff like that. But actually, I was quite lucky because um, quite a few of the policies that we pitched are kind of being moved forward. So stuff like voting at 16 in Wales has been integrated in and um, the new curriculum. Um, and although it might not be integrated at like the pace we wanted or the exact way we wanted, we are making changes and we do feel like they are positive. The changes that we pitched was a more well-rounded syllabus. So we wanted to include things like mental health, maybe making sure that people have first aid training and have the skills necessary that employers feel would be helpful in the workplace. And they are trying to work like skills that you need in a workplace setting into the curriculum as well. And although they might not be like designated sections, there'll be things like team working skills and tasks being integrated into maybe coursework and stuff like that. I'm permanently anxious normally when I have to do public speaking. I've never been one to kind of enjoy going up into public and like delivering these massive speeches. I kind of joined school council to kind of also largely to make a difference, but I thought it might push me out of my comfort zone. But I think definitely now I've gotten better at it and it's kind of one of those things that I'm not as nervous about. So another one that we were recently introduced into was the votes at 16. So um, the voting age has been lowered in Wales to 16. Actually in the Vale we anyway have quite a low like um, number of young people registered and people are voting. So um, one of the things that um, 
the cabinet are doing it. They're trying to launch like a social media campaign and making sure that we're kind of engaging young people in politics and making sure that they know that their voice is important. So we started doing consultations with young people um, and we invited um, cabinet members from the actual Vale of Glamorgan cabinet to come and talk to young people and we sent out like queries and got them to bring their own questions. Actually one of the things that we did was because we were inviting so many people and it was online, so many people could come in and maybe that wouldn't actually be in the room or discussion if we had done it in like a really formal setting. So I think that was nice. It was almost easier to get young people involved when they didn't have to go out of their way through transport and stuff. I think also COVID has helped kind of open our eyes to a lot of different things like mental health and um, definitely in terms of what we can do as a council, we kind of realised we aren't reaching out as maybe as much as we could be. So we have the normal Veil vale service, um, tw um, Twitter and Instagram, we have both. Um, so we share that with the whole um, youth service. So any and all kind of information can be put on there. And it's actually quite a nice way of making sure that a really large audience can kind of access the information that they want. So maybe if you were in young carers, you could also get access to maybe like different clubs that you wouldn't normally think about. I think it's kind of a luxury for me because as youth mayor and being part of so many different kind of extracurriculars, um, I do get my voice heard quite a lot and I do have that kind of position where I can say something and they'll take it seriously and they'll put it into action. But again, that's a luxury that I have that maybe not every single young person has, which is why the consultations and making sure that we have communication links with as many children in the way as we can is really important.